What's up, my dudes? We got us another patch for Supercross 3. Okay, this is actually somewhat of a... It's kind of a big patch, but not really. Uh, so basically, this came out last Thursday. So that was two or three days ago, right? Got us some Timmy action going here, boys. So, uh, yeah. So they have been putting these little patches on their Facebook page. If you've been looking for that, I know it's not really on like Steam and stuff like that, so it can be a little hard to figure out what they're doing in each one of these little individual patches, but basically this came out after the, you know, Great Legends DLC pack. I even think they might have came out with another like gear pack DLC as well since like before this as well. So basically the big thing is they finally fixed all of the bullcrap buggy like name custom name and numbering on your custom rider in the game you know what i'm saying where you can like position your number change the size of your name and number and the fonts and all that you boys know what i'm talking about when this game first came out it was pretty much an unusable feature like i didn't even mess with it anymore um like as far as like trying to place my number on the bike and trying to move my number around on the gear Holy crap, this track is legit, bro. Um, this game is legit. But yeah, so they finally apparently fixed all those bugs. It's insane that though they're still... It seemed like they were having this name and number glitch bug thing going on like three or four games ago. Could have swore they've been having this issue for a while now. Like, I think this has been a problem they've had for colder in a witch's titty minute you know what i'm saying like they've had this going on for a while um so like at this point if they're still having that many issues with it i feel like the better way to do it would just be have one kind of font one kind of number have it all the same like pretty big decent size like kind of like what you're seeing right here on this tim ferry rider right and like what you see on all the normal riders in the game, have some normal standard font and it just is what it is and you pick your name and your number and it just goes on the rider perfectly, right? You don't have this whole like name, number, size, position, font. They've It's kind of like they've overcomplicated it for their own systems or whatever. And I, I'm not a big advocate in taking away features, but when you can't even like you can't even use the features because it's so buggy and glitched out and everything, then you probably don't need to have that feature. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of what it comes down to. So other than that, just a couple of other little minor, you know, UI fixes and um, minor, minor bug fixes and stuff like that, I believe was what the other thing was. So yeah. So it's interesting how Milestone has sort of Seems like they're a little more into looking at what the community is needing in the game and what the community is needing fixed in the game. You guys saw very quickly they fixed a lot of their animation issues at the beginning. They've fixed the tough blocks, which were god-awful game-breaking, right? They've done quite a bit already to this game. This game came out, what, like a month or two ago, right? So, I don't know. There's just a cool little vibe I'm getting from Milestone that it seems as if they are sort of listening to the community a little more straightforward and they know what's up. You know what I mean? They know what needs to be fixed. They know what needs to be changed. This is a freaking awesome little triple section right here. Love the peaks on those jumps right there. Dang, I need to start hitting that triple in onto that table. This track, I feel like I've not rode on this track much at all. Like, at all. This is a really cool track in this game. I like the overall scaling of it. But, uh, yeah, so, either way, definitely shout out to him for finally fixing the number, name, number bug thing. It was literally basically pointless even trying to, like, reposition your name or your number. And what's weird is even when you make, like, some of the name and number fonts in this game as big as you can possibly make them on your custom rider, they still don't quite feel big enough to me. I mean, definitely let me know down in the comments if you guys have kind of thought that as well. Like, I've just always thought, ever since they started putting this whole, like, custom name, number, movement, font, and by the way, it's basically been the same exact system for the past, like, four games, okay? The same fonts, the same 
you know, all that kind of stuff. It's just been, you know, copy and pasted from game to game to game for like the past four games. So it's not like they've really been re-innovating it or anything like that, which kind of makes it a little bizarre on how it's still so buggy and so glitched out. It's the same system. It's the same exact fonts that you've always had. It's the same exact different like colorations that you've always had. I'm a little confused on why that was even still an issue. Like, I don't know. Def definitely bizarre how they were still having that problem. But, you know, sometimes you kind of have to, especially if you have like a three-digit number, that's a Quadski. Especially if you have a three-digit number on your bike, it can be kind of hard to fit it on the side number plate, you know. I guess that's kind of why they give you the option to position it. But, oh, my Lanta, was it having some bugs at the beginning of this game. Like... It, like I say, it was literally just pointless. You could bank on that thing having some kind of a bug or a glitch to where it wouldn't even show your name and number on the back. Like, it would just be nothing. <laughs> like, you were some, you know, beginner local rider dude with no name and number on the back of his gear. It was insane. I also saw another bug at the start of this game where the gear was like some crazy, you know, like rainbow looking... I don't know. It was like there was no actual... Um, you know, texture on the gear at all. A little bizarre, a little bug there, but either way, at least they got it ironed out at this point, but it's probably, for this particular aspect, it's probably, um, you know, probably like a little too late, I would say. I mean, yeah, it's cool that they did go in here and fix this, but, eh, I mean, how many people is really worried about moving around their name and number at this point? You know what I mean? It's not like super... But it is, I mean, it's just one of those things you got to have that kind of stuff fixed. Like, if you can't even use one of your naming and numbering size and position systems in your game, that's pretty ridiculous. Like, you got to have that kind of stuff fixed. But, so, they did finally fix it, but we'll see what they do in the next few weeks and stuff. But it's interesting how it's all kind of played out with the different updates and patches. And they went through, like, a whole graphical patch, which is kind of crazy. It almost seems like they've reverted back a little bit more towards the way the game was when it first came out i'm not really sure exactly but they've kind of went a few different directions with that right they've fixed on some of the animations slight little physics -y things not a whole lot in the physics department which is always a good sign you know if you don't have to change a lot in the physics department that means you've already got it pretty decent from the jump I love when those main triples, like where you have to hit the jump before it to be able to hit it, or you just can't hit it, right? I love that kind of feeling. I almost feel like these, like these Legends Riders 454 strokes, like the Tim Ferry and the Stewart and the um, Langston are a little bit slower than the normal dinos in the game. Does anybody else notice that? I don't know, like I'm struggling to hit like the jumps I would normally be hitting on like the newer, which it makes sense because these were based off of older bikes in the game. But yeah, you definitely struggle to hit like the normal stuff that you would hit in the game. So that's interesting. But either way, I just want to go over this patch real quick. Just let you guys know, fill you in. They finally fixed the whole name and number, coloring, all that kind of positioning stuff. So if you do go in there and make your custom rider now, you shouldn't have any issues with that. So yeah, man. Either way, appreciate you guys watching all the videos. Later, dudes. If you want to get in my Discord, all you got to do is DM me on Instagram at Spencer Turley, no spaces and no capital letters. I'll get you in there. You know what it is.